So let me show you how you can edit your videos from this to this just by using the CapCut in your phone in a very simple way. So without any time wasting, let's jump in straight to the video. Guys, welcome back again. My name is Aruna. If this is your first time, welcome to this platform. And also for returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support that you guys have been offering to me. I really, really appreciate you all. So first of all, you have to open the CapCut in your phone and then let's go through the process. Let's see how best we can edit videos like professional just by using the free CapCut app without you having to pay for the pro unless if you do require or you want more features so that you can use the pro version I'm in my CapCut right so before we go forward to the editing screens let me just uh, introduce to you the panel right as you guys can see the panel we have the AI uh, which will help you to script your videos right if you have an idea you can just go here and click this one and then you write your script right this one the teleprompter is if you want to do the reading right if you have a, a project that you want to deliver but you don't have it offered in your head you can use this teleprompter keep staring at your phone and read the information that you want to deliver to the public right so it's very nice and simple now let's just go to the main project now so now as you guys can see i have clicked on my video right let me say if i want to edit this video i'll just click it and add it to my timeline so now the video is in my timeline i always try to edit my videos with 1080p right as you can see up here right you see it too now the first thing that you should do if you want to color grade your videos because normally most times you should copy videos so for me the first thing that i always do is i'll click my video just like this and then i'll find the effect right the retouch now let me see retouch as you can see it i click on this one and then i click on the face so what this one will do to help to beautify your face so that let me say if you have a very copy face you can smooth your face and also do other stuff with it do this for 20 right i'll put this one plump on 20 and then also i go with this one the smooth i like my face to be always smooth right i always go to 40 i leave it in 40 and then also the skin tone if you want to change your skin tone towards the video right you can just click any of this one maybe warm or yield this and that right it all depends which one you want how you want your color to look like right as you can see when i'm clicking the effect is changing right so you can just use whichever one you want to use and then another thing very important one that i like to use most in this side is the white nail right teeth white nail some of us we have like very brown teeth so you don't want your teeth to be white when you're speaking you use this fashion right so you, you just increase this one i normally put this one to 50 because i don't want my teeth to be too bright just speak no i don't want that way. so i normally pull it like this and then what i'll do next i click on this apply all right for me i'm done on this side but if you also do want to do other stuff especially for ladies who want to look more beautiful there are so many things you can use you can use this one to reduce your nose anything your mouth if you want the, the shape of your mouth to be look different than the way how you are but for me i normally don't use these things that's why you can see my nose it's very big right this is my natural nose right so now we go to the makeup this one is most time ladies use this one so if you do want to use this one eyelash eyeshadow this and that they have so many features as you can see them right so you can go ahead and use them right just know the limit how you should use them so that you won't get any blurry or some kind of copy videos right you're trying to beautify your video here the next thing that i'll go is the aspect ratio so if you're posting videos on youtube I would normally recommend you to use the 16 by 9 which, will, which is this one right it is the same right now 16 by 9 it will help the screen to be full right especially like those videos I usually watch on YouTube be using 16 by 9 on this one if you want to do the cap cut version you can use this one right which is 9 by 16 this one will help to fill the screen just like how you normally watch videos on TikTok and you can also use this for Facebook for Facebook videos but because right now the video that I have is 16 by 9 so what I will do if I want to use the 9 by 16 ratio I will just click on this by video right as you can see I will click this one what I will do next, I'll come to background, right? Because the video 
is not fully covered as you can see. I don't want this black spot to be applied on my skin, right? So I'll do this one. It's either I use a blur, the blur will help you to cover this way. You want to use it this way, right? Or you can pinch the video. Let me just go back. Sometimes some people they usually do like this, pinch the video, but for me, I don't think it's you know necessary to do so because I want the full video to show just like the way how it should, right? Because if you use it, this one is the only thing that will show, right? Like this section, you have to be changing section by section. Now I have this section. So if this person is talking anything here, if we are two or three in this video and I would like to do this kind of setting, I have to be keep shifting the videos from one location to another location to keep catching those who are talking at that present moment, right? So for me, I normally don't use this because I don't want to waste my time on that. So what I usually do, I'll just go on the floor, right? I use this instead. So just look at the video now, you see? So now the screen is full. You don't have to worry about anything again, right? So now let's go to the next page, right? A lot of people have been asking how to add over layers on videos. Now I have this video on my timeline, so if I don't want to add another overlayer so that other person so that you will see another video on top of this video. So all you need to do is to click on this add overlayer, right? And then I'll bring another video. So I'll bring this video. It all depends the location where I want to put this video. Maybe I want to put it like this on this side and if i don't want the sound of this particular video that i just added to be sounding all i do is to click on my volume and then take out the volume right so that you still see the video while this original video is sounding right this one is just there to do so this one is just there for the action so those of you who do the reaction videos right so you just see it like that so how simple is that to do an overlay this is just the basic because you can go more deep there are so many ways you can do this right but this is just the basic that i want you guys to understand so after that now we go to the audio quality normally audio is one of the most important things in a video to be honest with you if you are doing content creation please be mindful and make sure that you spend money to buy so make sure that you spend your money to buy a microphone and also an audio interface so that you will get perfect video sound right so that you will get the perfect sound on your videos because nobody wants to watch a crappy video with so much loud noise at the background nobody wants to watch that kind of video so it is better for you to spend on your microphone and your audio interface so that you get a better quality of audio rather than spending thousands of dollars on camera right camera the quality is also good but audio is the number one thing so what i usually do after recording my video let me say if you have a very noisy background if you want to reduce the background noise so normally what i will do i'll go to this one as you can see me scrolling right you have to scroll all the way to this section right so now if i want to click this one but this one is a pro version so if you do have the pro version you can go ahead and use it but if you don't have the pro version you cannot subscribe to uh tiktok for you to be using all these features sometimes you might not be able to use them unless you have to subscribe so for me as a subscriber i'll just use this pro version so what i'll do i'll just toggle this one and then it will reduce the background noise for my video so that people will understand what i'm saying so how easy is that right very easy click on this adjust right as you can see the adjust so they have different fashion of way for you to adjust your video right so some people they usually do the auto adjust so this auto adjust it will automatically adjust your video for yourself without you having to go through all this process but for me i normally don't use it because i want my video to look just like the way how i want it right so i'll normally turn this off i don't use it at all i don't do color correction most times right but if you want you can do it but for me i normally don't use color, color correction this one is to increase the color of your video but for me i normally don't use this one so i'll jump from this one i'll go to brightness so that i will increase a little bit if you're shooting your videos in a very dark place you can increase the brightness of your color of your video to number two 
that's how I usually put it, right? So number two. And then also you go to the contrast. So the contrast is also very necessary. Some people they use the contrast to beautify themselves a little bit as you can see. When I turn out when I turn up the, the contrast, you see how the video changed, right? When you reduce it and you will see the changes too. So for me I normally use it at number two and then also the saturation this one is another cool feature again that i like i normally put this one to maybe number five right it also helps the video to look yummy right and then i'll skip i normally don't use this ones as you can see i don't use most of these ones so the next thing that i'll go to is the high highlight it helps to brighten your video let me say the face of my video right now as you can see on this part of the video is a little bit very dark right and then if you want to brighten this one you will just click this one as you can see right you see the color changing on the video right so if it all depends how much you want it for me i normally put it to five i don't like to be too flashy on my video and then also the shadow this is another very important tool again right but for me i normally don't like my video to have shadows at the back because most time maybe if you're shooting in front of the light or in front of the natural light you get some shadow behind you so i normally don't use this one so i normally use this one to decrease the shadow of my video because i don't like shadow on my video so i normally turn it off right turn it down a little bit to 10 and then also you have the white balance the white balance also helps to correct the the color of your videos at the back right ground flashy right so i normally use it maybe 10 or 15 right i normally put it at 15 and then also the next thing that i will go to is to temperature is very important too let me show you how this temperature works sometimes you will see if i put this one down you will see the video the color of the video has already changed right to natural right but i don't want it to be natural just like the way how i shoot the video i want it to be a little bit maybe warm or as you can see the more you increase the more you will see the color change so for me i normally put this one four or three right because i don't want my video to be too warm and also this one the hu this one also helps to beautify your video so how i normally do it i'll just click maybe one or two and i'm done on that section right filter some people they like to use filter on their video i'll go on this one so make sure you don't forget to click this arrow so that your setting that you just applied will be in your video right so i'll go on this adjustment again for most people they like to use filters so in this way if i want to use this filter i'll just use it but for me i normally don't use filters i don't like filters at all but i know most time ladies they like to use it they have so many beautiful filters that you can use right like this i like this one a little bit at least it's helped change the, the, the color of the video a little bit right you see these are all filters that you can use so you can use this arrow to adjust the way how you like your video to look like but as i said i don't normally use it the, another key feature again is to edit the video right let me see um if we can edit maybe some some part of the video you don't like some part of the video right right you click on this side and then you will see the split as you can see this split if you don't want some section of the video let me say let me play my video right and then i want to take off this part where yeah, i just talk right all i'll do i'll just click the split and then select on this side if this is the video that i would like to delete i'll just select on this side and then i will hit this one right you'll see the delete here i'll just click on this delete that section of the video is already deleted right if you can do this or you can use another method again like this if you want to just uh, cut the video like this let me say if you want to get out of this section you just do like this track the video like that and then you take away that section go back and leave the video just like the way how it is right now now it's in the normal way again how it used to be right so how simple is that for you to just cut your video right you just do the process repeatedly whichever section of the video that you doesn't want you just repeatedly use this one to cut out those sections right and another cool feature again right that you should know is about text some people they do like to add text on their videos right if you want to do add text you just click on this one and then you write bon appetit, bro. 
right so now i add my text on this one then there are so many ways you can add your text they have different style right if you do want your text to appear like this you will just click on that and then it will appear like that or if you do want it like this also the effects they do have different effects for me i normally use this one or this one in my videos to change to change the effect right you can also use the pro version as you can see they have very cool feature if you are using the pro right they also have the basic which you don't need they also have the basic change your colors like this whichever way you want to change your videos right so normally the next thing after adding the text i like my text to appear on the screen just like a, a, with ammunition so i love my text to appear on the screen with ammunition right so example like this you see how my text is appearing on the screen how cool is that or you can use this one this one is a pro version so you have to look for the one which says free right this one is free you don't have to pay for this one but if you want to use like this one it's a pro version you can see the pro on top of it right so that it will have your your text pop up very nicely in your on your screen right there are also features like this how you want your text to be but for me i normally don't use this one right so now i have my text on the screen right let me see also if you want your text to be long you can do all you can do is for you to tap at the end at the end of this text right you drag it like this so that the text will stay longer on your screen right the text will stay longer on your screen if you want it to be this long and you have the option also to move this text around maybe you want to place it in this section or you want to place it down here whichever way you can use this one to place it right very easy and very simple right so without you having to worry yourself and also another cool feature that you will use by doing this one if you want your text to be and then also if you do like your text to speak right let me see if i want my text to pronounce my name i'll just click on this one text to speech right and then try it it will generate but we also have the option for you to add your own voice right if you do have an a voice you can add it or you can use the one that uh, Output already provided to you, right? Who's clipping to explore the one. infinite possibilities of sound and instantly so start the wonderful Russian. journey of sound cloning? This is your exclusive clone sound. I hope you like it. You have to be a subscriber for you to use that one, right? So it will speak your name, right? Just like how my name is appearing on the board, and call my name, right? So another thing again that most people but not a cool feature again that I like about the CapCut app is just one auto caption, right? Auto caption. What this one does is now I'm speaking to you guys. If I do want the caption to appear as I'm speaking, right? I will just click this one. I normally use this quick click on generate. This will get the script of what you are saying and then translate it to to the writing so it will get the script of what you are saying and then trans translate it to the writing so i'll just click this one to generate and then it will take time to read and load right it will generate and then it will make the writing so all i want you to do is to add music videos as i said it's gonna say copyright right as you guys saw it because this video the length of the song is too long on tiktok you can only post videos uh, you can only on tiktok you can only post sound that you get from epidemic sound to i think 60 seconds which is one minute that's the old maximum they will allow for you to post a song on tiktok for all other platforms you can post the full song without getting any copyright so i hope that makes sense to you let me show you another cool feature again that i would like you to use when you are editing on cap cuts there is a way let me see some people they like to add a b-roll b-roll is like let me see if i'm talking about something and i want to add in on the screen so that people will actually understand what i'm saying right so this is how you add a b-roll so now this plus button all i'll do i'll go to the library at the top right corner and then i will ask for let me see uh, a camera just an example right so when i click on camera it will show me this one right so if i want to use this one i'll just click on add right so now it's right on top of my video so if i talk about camera it will show up like this so that people will get more interested in watching the video without keeping them boring right so it will show like this so all you need to do that's how you add
right? So that's how you add a payroll. But if it's how simple to add a payroll, right? And there's another cool feature again that I would like to use most of the time. If you the transition, right? Let me say if I have my video like this, and then I want when I'm talking to transit my video. So all I do because I already edited this video, so I'll just click on the side. And then out there are there are different transitions that you can use for your video, right? It all depends on how you want your video to be seen, how the video transit, right? Very easy, very simple. That's how you add transition in your videos, right? And then uh, people will shoot their videos using a green screen or black screen. So let me show you how you can remove the background on your videos, right? So now let me say if I want to read the background of this particular video. All I will do is to come on this side, right? As you can see, remove BG, right? You click on this one, and then they have different ways that you can remove. Most people will use uh, custom removal you know, so that they don't highlight certain parts of the video and remove where they want this thing to remove. Or also, they can use a chroma key also to do the same thing, right? But for me, I normally use the auto removal. So, what the auto removal do, it will take away the, the background of this particular video so that if you want to use another background you will just add it to this one right? so now as you can see my camera is not showing clearly again let me just show you an example or you can also use that if you like to remove your own background screen right and then you will have to add another background after you remove that one right so now i have removed this one so if i do want to add another background i'll just click on this one and then go on um, maybe i'll just apply this one the white screen you see how my screen is changing right but for this one i'll just use this that's why you're seeing the camera is not showing clearly it's because the camera this way because the person who recorded this video don't on screen so that when they remove the background the actual video will stay the way how it was recorded right so that is a problem that you see another cool feature again let me say if, if you're doing tutorial videos and then you want to show something and then you also want to this one here yeah. so i normally use this one for this let me see yeah so that's all i have for you for today these are the basic settings that you need to do there are so much more settings that you can use on capcom but these are the basic things for a beginner just for you to you know keep your energy going so how to do something else on the the, the capcom app you can also leave a comment in the comment section i'll try my best to respond to you just by showing or making another video again to you thank you so much and i hope this video makes sense to you kindly hit the subscribe and follow button so that you will get more basic tutorial from this particular platform